Italy. We all know it. Whether it be pizza, pasta, Mario, Luigi, some piece of Italy resides in your mind. On a random weekday afternoon, I was informed I have a week to prepare to go to Italy, or more specifically, Rome, for three days. Only three days? It's impossible to see Rome in three days. Turns out, with a lot of fucking walking, it is possible. My feet are still in pain. Apparently, we did not have nearly enough time as you would have liked at the airport. Had to devour the airport food, knock over a bottle of Coca-Cola and the overpriced airport restaurant for and speed walk away. You know, every single flight I remember from years ago, my ears always hurt like hell when landing. But either the Ryanair pilots or guards or airplanes have just gotten better because incredibly, my ears are perfectly fine. Early in the morning, we land. Taxi to the Airbnb, choose a room, settle down, take a sip from the charger goblet and hit the streets. Of course, we immediately encountered the Italian classics. Gelato, coffee, cigarettes and pasta. After a few hours of walking and sleeping, we figured it's time to finally be tourists. So we went straight to this tiny group of people at this little, just small little fountain that I'm sure isn't famous at all. I did not expect to go shoe shopping in Italy. I expected finding the most bizarre shoe store in the area even less. Look at these things. You know, the streets of Italy really were gorgeous. I had a great time looking at the scenery and architecture that I wouldn't usually find back home. The choice that about 99% of Rome's trash cans was so bold. I admire the artistic use of trash everywhere to really make the ambiance. Incredible. We ended up spending way too long walking to a pizza place that had good reviews. Turns out the reviews were so good we had to wait an extra 30 minutes for a free table. Luckily, there was plenty of entertainment in the area. Genuine question, can any Italian explain these figures to me? They're literally everywhere and design-wise they're exactly the same, so I just do not understand. Finally, a free table. Lasagna for me. Day 2. We start the day off with some ice cream and make our way to the Vatican. It's actually quite pretty. Got some great footage of the employees. Turns out God loves me after all, because somehow we made it literally just in time for the Pope. Seriously, we get there and five minutes later the Pope appears in a teeny tiny window far far away. Despite there being several stages and balconies, guess he can't be bothered to walk that far in his old age. <laughs> Let's go, dog, it's the Pope. <laughs> Anyway, I met the Pope. Or the Pope met me. I'm still figuring that out. Turns out, divine intervention meant nothing. We were still stupid, so we decided to walk around the walls of the Vatican. In the heat. Blaring sun. Badly walkable pathway. I, do you see why my feet hurt? Hey, somebody left the cookbook. A recipe for fruit pizza? All's well that ends well though, because the restaurant we stopped at had an incredible basement and I got spaghetti bolognese, however that's pronounced, please do not kill me. We had a lot of time on our hands, so we kept walking. Bridges sure are fun. Along the way, after having some incredible gelato, we found this absolutely gorgeous mask store. Seriously amazing. If I remember correctly, the masks are made in Venus and the quality was just very noticeable. And I got some cute magnets. Eventually, we reached the Pantheon. Luck was on our side today, because we got there just in time to see some kind of charity event.
mamma mia che bellezza As night to cover the sky, it was time to head home. Gotta say, Rome at night is just as incredible. Day 3! We went to the mall! Turns out Italy has GameStop! Yahoo! I got a pack of Italian Pokemon cards and some cat treats for my cats! Bus tour! I like tourist buses! If you can get in the very front of the second floor, windows open, now that's luxury! At the end of the day, we went to see the Colosseum. It was big and very much locked behind steel bars. Cool to see though. Eventually, all good things come to an end. It was the fourth and final day, it was time to go home. <laughs>